Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, December 5th, 2017, and we are honored to have in studio Shamir. Go ahead and your first song. <laughs> here with Shamir. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you? Hi. I love all the colors going on in the studio right now. It looks really beautiful. We try. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming today. Um, I So earlier we were talking about how you all met, and I want to share with our listeners the story because it's kind of like complicated and intersecting time windows, punk bands, and yeah. a best friendship. So Yeah. Back in, wait, I'm from Vegas. I live in Philadelphia now, but back like when... Um, I was like 16, me and this one had a band with a very offensive name. I don't want to say it on air, but <laughs> if you know, you know. You can look it up. Um, you can look it up. Um, and uh, yeah, and when we, yeah, when we were like 16, we emailed Fiona 
and um, sent, you know, sent her, you know, our music and just kept in touch ever since. And, like, Fiona's, like, kind of, like, the only other person that we knew Got in the it. music world from Vegas. And then, she yeah, did. I just kept seeing <laughs> Fiona on the road. So when you emailed Fiona, what did you say? Hi, this is yeah, our music. Like, yeah, we're a band. We're 16. <laughs> We live in Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> and Fiona, what did you say? I was like, I love you guys. You're yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah, she's super supportive. <laughs> That's so cool. So your um, band was called Vivian Girls? Mm-hmm. Was yeah. or is? Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the band's R-I-P. not happening. Right. Yeah, R.I.P. Oh, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but that's cool that you all met each other and created this amazing evolution of yeah. sound. And I'm excited to hear your next stuff. Um, you have two in a row coming up, so mm-hmm. let's do it. Cool.
up. We're hanging out with Shamir and Shamir's amazing band. Um, so, Shamir, you've gone through quite a evolution of sound and just, like, different sort of representations of your music. Do you want to tell us a little bit about, like, how you became what you are right now? Yeah, I don't know. I think I just kind of went back to my roots, you know. Um, yeah, like, kind of, you know, doing, like, electronic and, like, pop music was, like, really fun for me, but it was, like, more like an experiment. Mm-hmm. And, like, kind of, like, when I started doing, like, more electronic stuff, um, you know, I just didn't think that it would, like, take over, you know? Like, yeah. I didn't think that, like, people, like, you know, care as much as they did. And, like, I'm glad that, it, you know, they did because, you know, it gave me a career. But um, this wasn't fun after a while, you know? Yeah. Um, and this is just, like, this is how I naturally write music anyway, you know? And it was kind of... Um, yeah, it was just kind of, like, hard, kind of just, like, always having to translate how I write music into, like, an electronic format when I just can, like, release the songs how I write them, you know? Yeah, definitely. So it wasn't, like, your first instinct, like, as an artist to, to stick in that. I don't even that. own a computer. Yeah. <laughs> I never have. Yeah, I mean, I love what you're doing right now because I feel like the emotions are just, like, directly within the music and it feels really authentic to you, which is really cool. Um, I also read you did an album in a whole weekend. Or a whole album in a weekend, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's that's where that last song was from. It was called Hope, and it was just, I was, like, really, um, like, stressed out from, like, the whole, like, you know, pop circuit and, like, yeah. doing all that stuff. And I, I ended up scrapping, like, two albums before Hope. And, uh, yeah, that weekend after scrapping my second album, I was just kind of, like, over the politics and, like, having to, like, always collaborate and everything. And I was like, I'm just going to make this album myself. And it was just kind of, like, a really, like, manic weekend of me, like, trying not to lose it. And I just, like, put everything into the music and didn't leave my house and locked myself in my bedroom with my four track. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Did you write all of it in that weekend or were they yeah. previously written? Yeah. There was, like, pieces. And then I just, like, some, like, half of them was all written in that weekend. Mm-hmm. And then the other half, they were, like, remnants and pieces just like already left off my four track and I just like finished them up and did everything and flushed it out and yeah that's just what you got to do sometimes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's hear some more music yeah
reading about you and noticed that you've had like a journey with mental health and one of the questions I actually wanted to ask you is what are your forms of self-care and as a musician is a two-party question um self-care and then as a musician how do you recommend to other people that create and work in their feelings how to take care of themselves um I think a lot of things that I think what really helped me a lot is like it's like space and kind of just like you know, giving yourself time to kind of, like, recoup and um, and just, like, really, you know, kind of, like, become more self-aware and, like, kind of, like, become one with yourself and, like, because, you know, it's so easy to kind of, like, ignore, you know, what we need and, like, what we want, you know, yeah. you know, busy grinding or, like, whatever, but it's really important just to, like, take that time aside for self-care, you know, like, I think, you know, we see a lot of, like, self-care articles and tips and rituals and stuff, but it's almost kind of terrifying, to even, like, think about, you know, starting a time or making a time to, like, even, you know, start them. So it's almost just kind of, like, you know, putting time aside, even if you're not doing anything specifically, but kind of just, like, you know, an hour to meditate, an hour to journal, an hour to, like, you know, do something that, you know, get that out and kind of, like, become one with yourself, I yeah, think. Definitely. So just, like, making the point to carve that time out. Exactly. Yeah. And, like, I think that's how we end up, like, kind of, like, you know, like, really hurting ourselves, just, like, not giving ourselves 
that time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, as he's like running around and like a stress built, then, you know, something back happened. And it's yeah. like, oh, how did this happen? And it's like, you know, you should slow down. You know? Yeah, that's actually really good advice. Um, I heard somewhere that slow is fat, or slow is steady and steady is fast or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thank you for answering that. I appreciate it. Also, if you're in Chicago tonight, you should definitely go to Subterranean. They're performing and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Pretty much right after this, they get to load in all their stuff, and yeah, so do that. And you are also on tour, Mm -hmm. so tell me about the places that you're excited to go. We'll start with Christina. Um, Where are you excited to play? I'm really excited about Toronto. I've never been to Canada. Uh, Same. I'm excited to be in the six, eat some poutine with my woes. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. What about you, Fiona? Uh, Minneapolis, because that's where Purple Rain was filmed, is apparently where we're playing. So Incredible. Yeah. (laughs) That sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm excited about Minneapolis, too. I have a lot of homies out there that I'm super excited to see. Shout out Minneapolis. What up? <laughs> All right. Well, you have one more song, and I'm happy that we had you on the show today. Thank you for Thank having you. me. No problem. watching audio tree live this has been a session with shamir and if you like memes you should absolutely check out the video for (laughs) 90s kids it's hilarious um i want to give a shout out to everybody in studio the sound engineers the camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful in here and to all of you for watching if you like what you heard you can download or stream this session in a few weeks when it comes out and from all of us here at audio tree live thank you for watching
Thank you very much, everybody.